Hello, liebe Logo and Hello, Logo users and Logo programmers. Today, I'd like to talk about a subject that many of you might ask about or may not even have noticed in the manual yet. That subject is copy protection. Some of you who have used Logo for years are already familiar with this function from Logo 6. It contained special memory cards to which you could add copy protection. This meant that Logo deleted the program whenever anybody removed this memory card from the Logo, with a message stating that it didn't contain a program. You could then insert this card in another Logo, which would then run the program. Logo 8 has the same function, although we use standard microSD cards here. Now I would like to show you how this works. I have a logo in the small demo case. The logo is running a program, which is indicated by this flashing LED. What do we now need to do to provide copy protection? We need a standard microSD card, as I already stated, and also a screwdriver. First of all, we open the logo card slot and then take this standard microSD card. Format it in such a way that the logo can use it. You will find more detailed information in the logo manual. I place the card in the card holder. And close the slot carefully, so that we do not bend the pins. You won't see anything on Logo yet. We need to activate it. To do so, we set the display, so that the date and time are shown. Press the Escape button, switch Logo to Stop, select the Card menu option, and open the card copy protection settings in the lowest menu item. Here we have two settings, enabled and disabled. If we change to enable, copy protection is enabled for this card. Obviously, we don't have a program yet as it is still in the logo memory. This means we now need to copy this program that we wish to protect to the card from the logo memory. To do so, we select the top menu option, press yes to confirm everything and the program is now copied from the logo memory to the card. The program is now available in two locations. We have it on the card with copy protection and in the logo memory. Now we need to delete or override the program on Logo to ensure the copy protection option is active. I show you how to enable protection by overriding. First we select copy from the card in the Logo memory, in the menu we are currently in. The whole process takes just a few seconds and everything is then complete. When we turn on Logo again, we don't notice any changes immediately. However, if someone takes out this card, you will see the screen goes black briefly and Logo will have deleted the entire program. Now there is no program in Logo, the program is on the card. You can take out the card and insert it in another Logo. Turn the power on and off again, switch Logo on again and you will have the same function in another Logo. This means just one Logo can run the program, the one in which this card is inserted. Smart programmers, or those who have a little computer expertise, might think it's easy to get around. I take the card out, insert it into the PC and make two or three copies of the card. You can try if you like, but I promise you that the copy won't work in Logo. It will only work using the card you have protected against copying. You'll see, copy protection for Logo is done within moments, so that nobody is able to access the program which you placed on the card. 
Here is an additional node for this function. You need to run this function on the device. You cannot execute it using the software. If you have a logo without a display, you can obviously connect logo GDE. You will find the same functions and menu options on logo GDE and can also enable copy protection for a logo without a display using logo GDE. Logo. Ingeniously simple. Simply ingenious. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.